Good morning, Britain coming up this morning, breaking her silence 20 years on from the Dunblane massacre, which left 16 children and their teacher dead. Survivor Amy Adam tells us why she's refused to let the killer ruin her life. I obviously hate him for what he's done. He's ruined a lot of people's lives and he's tried to ruin my life, but in some respects I sort of feel almost like sorry for him. Amy joins us on the sofa this morning for her first live interview in just over an hour's time. Sending in the Royal Navy to fight the people traffickers as the migrant situation in Europe worsens, the Prime Minister takes military action. As tens of thousands of refugees find themselves stranded here at the Greece-Macedonia border, David Cameron sets his sights on tackling the smugglers and returning illegal migrants. A starring role in the White House, we look back at the remarkable life of Hollywood actress turned influential first lady Nancy Reagan, who died yesterday. And what do Angelina Jolie's kids think about working with their mum? They all went in, they took it very seriously, and then in the car they were like, <laughs> That's what you do? <laughs> That's so easy. The Hollywood star tells us about starring alongside her children in the new Kung Fu Panda film. Monday, 7th of March 2016, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. It is 6.01, if you want to be uh, precise about these things. Welcome to the programme. Just thinking today, 20 years since Dunblane. Unbelievable. Happened. I know. You know, I, I was editor of the Daily Mirror in, in 96 when that happened. And I, I, to this day, it remains the most emotive, powerful, gut-wrenching story. I think any journalist who was around that story mm -hmm. has ever covered. And just amazing, two decades ago. I mean, we, today we have this extraordinary exclusive with this girl who's never spoken who was shot twice mm. and never spoke about it publicly and I, i'm it's going to be a riveting conversation because i remember when she was five that was the last time i saw this girl mm -hmm. five years old and just managed to survive that monster who walked into that school but it's uh, it sends chills even now, that Dunblane story. It, and Amy will be talking to us after 7 o'clock mm. this morning, and hers is truly a story of courage and resilience. Mm. So um, it, it will be incredible to hear her story in an hour's time. Mm. It's two minutes past six. Laura has a look at the weather this morning. She's in Henley-on-Thames. Good morning. Yes, I am. The clear skies and last light winds last night means it is a cold and frosty start to the day today. It's about minus two where we are this morning and temperatures are continuing to fall. You will need to scrape those windscreens this morning. It is very icy underfoot. A few wintry showers for some coastal areas, but for many, it is the, one of the best looking starts to the days this week because it turns wetter and windier come the middle of the week. I'll have more details a little later on. Laura, thank you.